What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here. Today, we have the Blade X electric scooter. I'm super excited by this scooter because I just think it provides excellent value for the money. It's also one of the first in America. So let's take a look, subscribe and let's ride. All right, let's take a look at some of the features of the Blade X electric scooter. So we'll start from the rear here. So you've got a hub motor here with a two watt looking 10 by three inner tube looks like. And you've got this pretty unique swing arm here. So I guess there's a metal swing arm that's red behind it. And then it goes up into this fender and suspension assembly. It's kind of a unique design there. You've got a nicely designed footrest here to rest your foot up when you're riding. I might let you do some wheelies too kind of nice looking. And then you've got a light back here with your side lights and deck. The deck has this rubber matting. It's actually pretty nice. It holds your feet in position pretty well with easy lifting to get to the screws if needed. You know that messy grip tape that peels off and doesn't go on very cleanly. Headlights in the front here as well, pretty standard. But the front one is a nice addition which is much brighter than the side ones. In the front, you've also got the same kind of interesting V-shaped swing arm and cover with your 160 millimeter disc brake and your hydraulic brake caliper. Suspension again on the front. And the suspension is actually pretty nice. It soaks up most of the bumps of the road. I think you can totally take a scooter on roads, on rough roads, off-roading. Not as smooth as something with a little bit more dampening hydraulic. It is kind of in an interesting position being on top of the wheel here when normally it's kind of behind. So I didn't notice any difference when riding with this position, but it seems totally functional. I don't know if it makes it more complicated or not to change. Maybe it's even easier to kind of get to the adjustments. It's got a pretty beefy neck here, at least to your mud guard, and kind of this double uh, neck here that goes to the deck. The folding mechanism is actually pretty functional. You've got a really stiff stem there, and that's good. It does take quite a bit of time to undo it, though. I've got to untwist this thing, which can go pretty fast, and then it will just fold. All right, up the blade, brand and stem, and we'll get to the handlebars. Let me just take the scooter down real quick. All right, guys, you've got a pretty wide handlebar. It's pretty comfortable, good control of the scooter. Comfortable grips. They might get a little slippery when it's wet, but they seem nice. Dual brake levers, hydraulic XOD brakes. I haven't used these a ton, but they seem pretty good. Maybe between like a zoom and a nut brake system, but they do the job just fine. You've got kind of the standard Eco Turbo single dual switch here. Nice quality buttons, but I can never tell if it's in or out. And then you've also got this nice eye module here. So shows you the battery, speed, voltage odometer, the power and mode buttons, and you've got a finger throttle. On the left here, you've got your standard key ignition with voltage display, so simply turn it on. Acts as a nice little pepitarian as well, so they can't just start your scooter up when you're not there. And you've also got this control panel here with lights, turn signals, and a horn. What's cool about this control panel that I haven't seen in other scooters though, is that these buttons light up. So tells you the front light's on, tells you if the turn signal's on. A lot of them you just kind of have to guess and you don't know the status of it. And you've got a locking clamp here from when it's folded and that pretty much covers it for the features. So now let's get back to the video. All right, we're at our new favorite hill climb spot, Ripley Street. It's a crazy long sustained hill climb. So let's see if this dual motor scooter can make it up. Oh, we are climbing up this hill, no problem. Skipping tires a little bit. I really got to put pressure on this front tire. 25 kilometers per hour at the top. No problem.
right, guys, we are speed testing the Blade X. Everything is maxed out. We've still got the display on kilometers per hour, but we'll have a little overlay with miles per hour. So let's see what this baby can do. A lot more traffic than I like on our typical speed run, but it's okay. It'll be fine. All right, we're at 46 kilometers per hour here. Let's push it. 60. 70 kilometers per hour. 75. 76. 80. 80. Looks like we hit 82 kilometers per hour there for a little bit. Not bad for a budget scooter. This thing seriously impresses me. Holding strong at 80 kilometers per hour. Pretty nice. Woo! Nice little scooter. All right, that's all we got for this episode on the Blade X Electric Scooter. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can find the scooter in a link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.